that's certainly a good question and one I've pondered as, as I've done this. Uh, you know, I've done some pretty rigorous work in biblical studies. I've worked in historical Jesus, Paul, I've even written a, a commentary on, on 1 Esdras based just on Codex Vaticanus. So I've done some really nitty gritty details when it comes to working in the text. But for me, although I found my, my career in biblical studies, my first love was systematics. Uh, New Testament was my true love and Church history is my mother-in-law that likes to tell me I'm yet to have an original idea. But systematics was my first love, and I've always carried with me in the various studies I've done, uh, the, the big questions, the issues, the big picture that systematics forces us into. And in various ways, I've tried to work in some answers to systematic questions in some of the works I've done. Because I believe at the end of the day, just to repeat what the text says is not enough. You've got to ask that important question, so what? What difference does this make? What can we take away from this? How does this lead itself to articulating a Christian worldview? How does this enable the church to fulfill its mission? So I've wanted to approach this task as someone who has solidly worked in the text of our scriptures and then is saying, so what? How do we bring it all together and what difference does it make in the way we live our Christian lives?